channel, Mighty Dubia Feeders. Michelle and Gio here. We thought it'd be really cool and exciting and fun to just like do a experimental type of series. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our breeders that have been producing, this is one of our breeder bins. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna equally count um, we'll have a blue bin and a gray bin and our first is we're gonna see if is it really true um, is it a myth or is it for real uh, that if you feed oranges to your dubia roaches that it makes them produce more of these quick more quickly so these are the babies I'm gonna weigh them later um, and see how many we've had this is a month's worth um, so yeah we're gonna do that so Gio is going to be going through these bins and getting and dividing equally here everything about the setup, whether it is the heat or what we're feeding them, just everything is in a good, the environment, all of that is going to be the same, lighting, everything. And so what we're going to do is we're going to feed the blue one the oranges and we're going to feed the gray one everything that's the same as the blue except for they will not get the oranges. And we're going to look at it in a month and so if you just go ahead and subscribe in a month from now we're going to do it over a three month period because a month is not really we don't know if some of these guys are already pregnant or not and they're going to you know have babies quickly so we're just going to do uh over a three month period to see how many babies is there more babies that are in the blue with the oranges is that something that our experiment will show us or is it going to show us no it didn't really matter they both had the same equal amount so y'all stick around here we go in case you're wondering and you haven't seen our other videos we do have a dubia roach colony playlist um, if you want to know our ratio is four females to one male so that's how we do it here at the dubia uh, mighty dubia feeders
get the weight and so it'll be interesting to see that if adding oranges because we really haven't been feeding oranges we used to but we just you know with prices and everything oranges are expensive I'm the one that was to be eating the oranges but hey we're gonna do this so we're gonna figure it all out so I'm gonna count a hundred and so y'all can see me and get that started real quick This is a hundred and what it looks like and so you can see how much we have here see so this is a hundred I'm gonna weigh that and see what it is and then I'm gonna weigh all this and then we'll see what this harvest is for this particular bin for this month and then we'll see if adding oranges makes a difference now that I've split this particular uh, breeder colony up and we'll see what happens next month. Okay, so I'm back inside. I've got this set on zero grams So let's just see what's in this hundred ways that I just did Come on little babies. I think I have everything off All right, we see that it's three grams you guys so three grams is for a hundred and so now I'm gonna add the rest of these in there and we'll see how much it is and try to do it without. Hey babe, are you in here? Can you just come pour these in here so I don't make a mess? So I'm gonna have Geo pour them for me in here. So three grams is a hundred. So we'll see how many how many grams it ends up being all together for this month. Okay, so we got for this month uh, on the same breeders that we're using for our experiment. This is what they gave us 86. And ha did you ever feed them oranges this month? I think you did actually. Maybe a couple times. Maybe a couple times, but sure. but not routinely. Okay, so this is actually 2,800, give or take. So that way we'll know next month and we'll see what did each uh, bin, blue or gray, yield to us as far as babies and was it far above the 2,800 or was it the same all together totally? That'll be a good thing to check out too. And look at all my other bugs here. This is for a customer that's ordering some larges. What's going on guys? So like Michelle explained, the whole reason for this video is we're going to do an experiment where we have two bins. The blue bin is going to be the, the adults that are going to be eating the oranges. The gray one is not. So equal amount of, of adults. We have 275 in one, 275 in the other one. We're going to keep them in the same temperature. If they, uh, they're going to be fed the exact same thing except for the blue one, we're adding oranges to their to their diet. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see whether it's true, whether the oranges really uh, make them more prolific breeders. Uh, that's what you kind of hear in the Duga community. We don't know if that's true. I don't know if there's a scientific study about that. So we're gonna do our own experiment. So we're gonna, in, th in 30 days, we're gonna count these guys equally, and then we will repeat the process. We're gonna do this for three months. And then uh, we just feel like 31 month is not enough. Uh, there might be some here that are already uh, pregnant. So we want to do this for, we'll do it at 30 days, we'll do it at 90 days, and then again at 120 days we'll complete our so so non-scientific experiment. And then we'll see, we'll let you guys know what we come up with. Oh, so we're doing it for for 90 days and then 100? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I don't know how yeah, to count. Sorry, I just got I confused. I forgot my math here. 30, 60, and 90 days. That's what I meant. You know what I meant. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and what we're going to be looking the difference in is not the adults, it's in the babies. So we're going to see right. which one we're going to weigh and how we're going to do that. Here, show them how we just, the babies we just got out from these. Yeah, um, so this is, this is just the babies that we got out for, uh, for one of our, couple of our breeder bins that we, we just got those babies out of and we're going to do the same thing. At 30 days, we'll, we'll uh, separate the, the babies, weigh them. 
uh, and see what we come up with. And how do we weigh them? So well, what we like, what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna count 100 and get that weight in grams, and then we'll use that as basically as our like benchmark. So uh, we'll we'll uh, count 100 for, from each bin, weigh it, uh, and then from there we'll that, that way to keep us from counting thousands of roaches. You know, these are especially these tiny ones; they're so hard to count. But uh, but we will take the time to count 100. We'll weigh them, and then we'll kind of use that as our our gauge. So anyways, guys, follow us along uh, for, the, for the ride, and we're gonna uh, see what we come up with. Uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the, help us out here, guys, because you know we're doing this for, not only for us, but we're doing it for you also. So we thank you, God bless, and we'll see you in 30 days. And also, I just wanna say one more thing. We're just, this is gonna be a series, because all of the dubia things that you hear, like do this for their husbandry, do that. So we're just starting with the first one this next three months, it'll, right. it'll just be the oranges. But then after that, I thought it would be pretty cool, like when we're done with the oranges, to do, um, what, what else? Yeah, maybe temperature. temperatures, yeah. like temperatures, keep one a certain, uh, a certain temperature, or right. maybe like uh, one where we're kind of doing an experiment on you know, some people say, oh, they have to be in dark totes and they have to be in the dark. And then right. some people are like, no, they're fine. I have dubia and they do great and, yeah. and see through. I, I think what happens a lot of times is that people have their own personal experience and they think that that is the only way that these, you know, that that's the only, that's the gospel, so to speak. Uh, and uh, we want to make, we want to check out different environments to see if that really is the case. Uh, because there's no point in just repeating what, else, what somebody else is saying. So we want to do these experiments. I think it will be fun, and you know we do it for ninety for 90, well, ninety days, right? Yeah. So that will give us an opportunity to see well, well, did that work or not, or is it true or not? Or are we coming up with equal amount uh, where it's not really going to make a difference whether there one was at ninety five degrees and one was at, for example, eighty five degrees? So uh, I think it'll be a, a fun series to just experiment and, and test out the different environments and different diets. Um, so yeah. So anyways, join us, join us along. Uh, for the ride and hey if you need any feeders tell them what kind of feeders we have in our website and all that and our socials yeah, so of course we we carry the dubious and we also have mealworms and superworms and we are in the process of uh, a colony of the discoids and they're slow going but we're, we'll get there to help out our flora friends so anyways guys make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video and uh, we will see you guys in 30 days and our website is MightyDubiaFeeders.com. And you can also find us on Facebook at Mighty Dubia Feeders. And then also on Instagram. Um, we have two accounts on there. You can just put in Mighty Dubia Feeders Plus or GTM, which stands for a ginger, tater, tot, and moose. Those are, and then we have a new one. We have, what, tell, tell everybody what we just got last we weekend. Got a, yeah, banana pectinata. We don't know what we're going to call them yet. So yeah. it's a spiny tail iguana, Mexican spiny tail iguana. Uh, but Anna Pectinata is the, the morph. Uh, so yeah, we're excited. He's, he's a little tiny right now. He's still green. Uh, so we're looking forward to, to him changing and uh, being a, a member of the family. Yeah, and you can follow us on Instagram and see all his pictures over there too. So y'all have yeah. a blessed day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for today. Bye-bye.